guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Mary Co. Time, so let's kind of get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, Mr. Evil Bad Guy is now a fucking teacher, and I really don't like the sound of that. <laughs> this is not gonna go good. I don't. Hell, I even kind of had a crush on him for, like, when he first came in, and then, oh, and then you remember who he is, and it's like, fuck no. Not really. You have. <laughs> Besides, all he got a lot of children in his eyes. Press that one's back as well. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm supposed to do something else today. Yeah, I gotta do that after I'm done with these two. Mm. But I won't be able to do this later. <laughs> ready to take this out and just like either braid it up again or put it in something else. Oh that looks good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hold on. Hana <laughs> Oh god. Why don't you just go ahead and straight up tell Hana? No. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh God, after that, I was like, I'm going home sick. <laughs> Like, you know when someone gives you, like, that weird, scary, scare, uh, that stare, blah, 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 and you get, like, that chill down your spine? Nah. Shit, I know I couldn't. <laughs> I'd be transferred to fucking schools. students thank god Expected that it was coming, but just for a moment. <laughs> That's probably the only jump scare you're gonna get out of me. <laughs> Cause I think the last time I jump scared like that was like, psh, I think, not Magical Girl Rising Project, probably Magical Girl Site. Hannah, like, you're seriously making me hungry. I haven't been eating yet. So we're not going to talk about why she was eating in the bathroom? said you guys are friends so you know eat together oh hana <laughs> what's wrong Because 
I still think he has bad intentions. Now hold up, do I think of that part where like, did he just remember her? Or did he see that big ass spirit? It's one of the two. <laughs> yeah, but they got Halloween donuts. It might be good. <laughs> Twenty free donuts. Come on! <laughs> so light, let's go. It's gonna be fine. It ain't that bad. Not really. I mean, but you want them 20 free donuts, right? <laughs> Yeah, but something tells me something's going to pop up. Well, no, not like that. <laughs> Well, no, just Hana. <laughs> sure, babe.
That was your stomach. <laughs> Figures they would be here. But once again, you want the donuts, right? <laughs> then come on. She over there killing Yulia. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, Hannah. Oh, poor Hana. <laughs> mhm. Mm yeah, that that's the real one. So yeah, let's go. You want to hold hands so you don't get too, too scared. Oh, he's just going to follow you out. Hannah? Of oh, course. Just don't let go of the piece of paper with the stamp on it. All right, honey, get your free donuts. <laughs> there you go. It, yeah. No, 
She just had fun with you. Bruh, <laughs> can I just say? I mean, yeah, like, really, was I surprised that this show, like, literally finally gave me a trap scare moment? Yes and no at the same time, because that's the one thing that, you know, typically, I will say, a lot of horror movies in general, even now, and then most horror animes that I've seen, I, like, as someone who loves horror movies a lot, I like being scared for, like, just a little moment because then I can laugh at myself. I hate the fact that when I look at most horror movies and it's like that today and same things with certain animes and such that I will never get scared because I just see I look at horror as comedy. I look at really gory moments in, an, in a horror movie or in an anime as comedy. Maybe one day, you know, probably maybe by the end of the series, maybe if I feel like it and if I have time. I'll possibly explain. It's a very long story and I feel like there's going to be people who are going to be like, that's the reason why it, 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 people people are going to be so confused about that because it's like how um I think it was like two two or three years ago uh when the Junji Ito collection came out and everybody like when that first episode came out kept wondering specifically like why the hell I was laughing and how everybody else was scared in a reaction mashup and I was like it's really complicated to like explain I was like, it's things that my parents taught me, plus other things, but yeah. But it was cute. Hana got her donuts. <laughs> but see, hold on, are the donuts like Halloween themed? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we are going to see her. She probably just relaxed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Nope. Plowing. Oh. Bruise the shit out of my nail. Hmm. That's an interesting name for a title. Because <laughs> I think there's a, a there's a name of a movie called Don't Look, or it's either Don't Look or Don't Look Up. One of the two. But I mean, okay. Number one, to have a teacher, a person that we, you know, I thought going back to last week, as I said, was not going to come back into the show that is officially back into the show. And we don't really know, like, his, the reason why. Manga readers, of course, y'all know. Me, I have no fucking clue. But the fact is that he is not, he's also, he has the the cats and then whatever else other spirit that was, you know, making fingerprints or handprints um on the windows towards him trying to really get him there has to be a reason so still i'm still thinking like and i hate to say this he ha he did something with the cats and i think that's what i said like several weeks ago when episode two came out um so maybe we'll possibly get like an origin story on him next week which i would like to see but i don't want to see the torturing cats thing because animals that is like off the table for me I mean I remember when like what the ancient Magnus bride did that ish and that was horrible to see so I don't really want to see that again in this it could be hell it could be something completely different but whatever it is it, you know Miko has to be the one to find out because Miko is the only one who sees this you know Yuli only sees like a little too much but it was interesting and to see uh Miko to have fun even though like yeah, you still gotta see spirits every fucking day. Like, you know, every day for her is just a horror movie and you just feel so bad for her. 
Because she can't share. Like, oh, she goes to the bathroom and then boom, right there. And she goes to the next stall and then Yuli is in the bathroom eating lunch. Like, oh my god, baby, this isn't Katie from Mean Girls, honey bunny. So no, you can't do that. <laughs> like, but oh my god. But yeah, them going to Miss, uh, Miss D's to go get some donuts. <laughs> Good job. It probably tells me that we might see, like, since we're going into Christmas next month, we might see, like, a Christmas uh, donut-themed episode, possibly for, like, quote-unquote, the finale, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 9 of Mariko Chan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 10. Bye, guys.